Hello my dear friends, it's me Ksenia and you're watching St. Petersburg Mint channel and today I'm in Moscow. <laughs> it's Saturday and I'm in Moscow here for you and this video will be devoted to a very you know important topic in Russia these days so if you watch YouTube or if you know Russian and if you watch Russian YouTubers Russian analysts and specialists in like war politics and economics uh, many of them have already said that the second wave of uh, mobilization is on the verge of starting in Russia you know so uh, I just suggest that we are uh, taking a short walk along Moscow uh, along Moscow streets and just uh, try to uh, feel the vibe the mobilization vibe in Moscow so my dear friends let's do it so as we all know from mobilization that was held in September October uh, 2022 Moscow and St. Petersburg were not so um, you know um, actively participating in uh, in mobilization uh, of course there were people who were taken uh, to to the special military operation um, but not so many as from other regions of Russia and today we're having our walk just to just to, uh, to just to see the vibe the atmosphere in Moscow and now I'm on uh, in Vedenha Park uh, this park was uh, was built I don't know what do you say about parks so this park was built uh, in Soviet Union like in maybe in 50s I suppose I don't know for sure but I will I will check it out uh, so uh, this park is uh, very old it was devoted to all the republics of uh, um, of uh, the Soviet Union so they have different pavilions here here there there so each pavilion was devoted to uh, some republic of the uh, USSR and uh, in in those pavilions uh, the, those republic were uh, uh, were exhibiting exhibiting uh, their goods what they uh, were producing and many other stuff uh, like art pictures and other uh, other things but mainly it was of course uh, like the production exhibition um, so the republics were showing uh, what they have what they produce um, so here is the topic the theme of this park um, in the USSR so in my previous video that I um, made in St. Petersburg on the same topic on mobilization May, there were many comments that uh, people didn't see my, uh, many men oh my God. <laughs> many men on the streets like uh, it looked like only children uh, women and uh, elderly people uh, are there in St. Petersburg um, but you know I have to say to you that uh, it's the specifics of Russia on the whole so um, there are less men in Russia than women and this is because of the Second World War which we call in Russia the Great Patriotic War and uh, unfortunately Russia hasn't restored the number of men up to the present moment so yeah there are less men in Russia than uh, than women. Uh, <laughs> so uh, not all the women of Russia will be able to get married, you know, because we don't have the same <laughs> the same uh, quantity of men. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, that happened.
So we are here in the park. Of course, we will not be seeing anybody taken, mobilized in the park, of course. Of course, it's not the place where you have to, uh, where you have to watch um, or film uh, mobilization, of course. But you know, I just was here, somewhere here, decided to just to start filming here. And what I can tell you, uh, like my observations. So I have been in Moscow. Uh, last time it was like March, late March, 2022. Uh, and uh, what uh, for one day? And uh, I noticed that um, there were a lot of police, especially in Red Square. Um, and lots of police cars, lots of detainment cars. Uh, so uh, now I have been in Moscow for three days, three. And you know, I noticed that there are less police, less. Yesterday I uh, visited the Red Square and you know, I haven't seen um, a detention car there. And I just saw um, policemen just going like uh, you know around this red square just so like they're just like on their doing their job but no police cars no detention cars um, around the red square uh, as I saw it in late March in 2022 and of course if we take into consideration the fact that uh, Russia hasn't restored the number of men after the great patriotic war like uh, 70 years past and uh, the number of men is still less than women and they take uh, more men to special military operation uh, that means that there will be even less men uh, soon in Russia and just look how bad bad quality of tiles and bad quality of laying the tiles was done here right uh, almost in the center of moscow very bad very bad i almost fell uh, several times already uh, with my with my phone filming you know just look wow very bad very bad and it's obvious this these tiles are new because if you know these tiles were laying uh, in the times of stalin stalin where this park was built uh, believe me that would be much in in a better in a better condition really it would be it would look and feel much better when you walk there it's obvious this is new and th they are doing that on purpose in moscow because uh, in such a way they are laundering money uh, yeah.
also this week the Minister of Defense, Sergei Shaigu, announced that uh, the number of soldiers in the regular Russian army will be um, expanded. And this uh, was agreed with uh, our president, Putin. Uh, so, um, of course, um, nothing is being uh, said about mobilization, like on the news, on papers, uh, online, nothing. Uh, they, uh, they say that, oh, no mobilization, no, nothing of that kind. Uh, but of course, uh, when uh, it starts, or if it starts, um, I think it will be held in a different way. Uh, not uh, like it was held uh, in September and October 2022. So, I think uh, the mobilization will be hidden. Uh, will be very calm. Moscow and Saint Petersburg uh, will not be uh, taken part in this, not be taken active part in this. Of course, uh, when um, this event starts, of course, some people from Moscow and from Saint Petersburg, of course, uh, will get mobilized. Uh, but uh, not in the quantities that they are mobilized uh, from the regions, from other regions of Russia. Uh, so, I'm near the Kremlin, where all the decisions and uh, um, like opinions uh, are being uh, taken and decided upon. Uh, so, yeah. And by the way, you can see lots of people here and uh, you can see the uh, uh, like light, light, lights, uh, New Year lights here, New, Ye New Year's market is still here. Oh my God, they even have a skating ring here. As you can see, the vibe here is very cheerful. So many people, um, to me it seems that there are many men here, but uh, maybe you will think that only women and children are here, as uh, men, there were many comments uh, on my mobilization vibe video from St. Petersburg, but still, you can see the lights are on, Christmas lights. I don't know, by the way, uh, if they have these lights in summer or if this uh, like New Year's uh, lights. I don't know, really. But this is uh, definitely not for all year round. It's only for the New Year's celebrations. And as you can see, it's in the place. It's uh, the end of January already. I think that if somebody wants to avoid mobilization, they must definitely be here, like on the Red Square, because nobody seems to be taken from here. Just look at it. People are chilling, people are just having fun, relaxing um, on skating rings. Um, on, um, I don't know, like, market, on the market, and uh, nobody is thinking about any other uh, stuff, you know, yeah. So, in March 2022, I saw a detention car right here, where the, these barriers are kept and you know it's like 100 meters away from the Kremlin so this is the Museum of History and there the Kremlin right after so as you can see no police cars here now 
almost no police here, policemen, but there are some of them patrolling the area. So, yeah. And, you know, I must tell you that it seems like people in Moscow and in St. Petersburg got used to the special military operation, the war. Uh, they are not Mm, they are not thinking about it uh, they are just having fun and just living their life you know many people even uh, those who I know not very good not in a very good way but still who I know uh, like maybe met once or twice uh, so they are trying to you know to be blissfully ignorant like look like they're blissfully ignorant like ignoring all the uh, events ignoring all the news and of course you know life in moscow is a different life uh, it's not the life of the rest of russia so people here are earning money uh, enjoying life, uh, Moscow is one of the most technological cities in Europe. Uh, life here is very simple in terms of uh, uh, infrastructure. You can order anything, you can pay by all means possible. Um, you can do whatever you want here, you can buy whatever you want, want here. Of course, there are people who cannot afford things, but many people can and you know it's the biggest city in russia and it's intentionally made was made like this so that it was the best city in russia uh, which attracts more and more people each year uh, which becomes a uh, huge city not just big city it's huge it's enormously huge like the agglomeration uh, of Moscow and the like cities uh, which are situated uh, located around is 20 million people 20 million people I don't know like almost 20% uh, of Russians live here 20% almost 20% it's like 15 I suppose percent or something like that so my dear friends how do you like this Moscow mobilization vibe? Um, what do you think about it? What do you think about people who live here? So, leave your comments regarding this and it's very cold. I got so cold that I better be going somewhere somewhere warm so my dear friends thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with me and see you in the next video bye